The name is Mark, M-A-R-K, Loizo, L-O-I-Z-E-A-U-X. And the phonics are L-A-W-A-Z-O, Loizo. And I'm vice president of Controlled Demolition Incorporated from Baltimore, Maryland. Fire! The traveling powder man is an old North American tradition. Specialists in a very special art, explosives men have been adjusting our landscape for centuries. First, blowing rocks and stumps from our fields and pastures. Later, piercing the earth with mines and tunnels. Sometimes, moving mountains. And now, demolishing in seconds proud city structures. Jack Loiseau is perhaps the last of the old school of blasters. He has lived a transition from blowing sick elms from our landscape to dropping high buildings with dynamite. Stacks, bridges, and buildings of another age are his business. Southern Florida is caught in a condominium craze. Basically, it's economic. Many hotels are old and few are efficient. Most are the style of another age. And the style of new money is high-rise condominium. The 11-story Kenilworth Hotel on North Miami Beach in Val Harbor, once the penthouse home of Arthur Godfrey, is one fated for fast removal. Enjoy your lunch, because we're Thank near you. the last one. On Friday's the last lunch. OK. Right. Real nice, good. Nice Thank you. Bye-bye. Nice right. <laughs> Makes you sad, you know? After all these years, you know, taking care of Godfrey and his gang around here. A lot of memories, a lot of memories. A lot of good people come through here. Turning it off, you don't have to worry about flushing out your system later. We turn off the air conditioners if it's a central unit, number one. Number two, we ask that your tenants be sure that all their windows are closed very tightly. Mark, would you uh, explain about the, uh, the helicopter that will be in service to take Yes, there's a helicopter that's going to be here, and if the building goes the wrong way, it's going to take us to Curacao. <laughs> The Shell oil refinery on the Caribbean island of Curaçao is one of the largest in the world. In the center of this complex of high pressure lines and storage tanks stand two chimneys over 300 feet tall and 16 feet in diameter at the top. They stand in the way of progress and must come down. It would take nine months to bring them down with traditional methods. Years old. They take them out now because the units which are connected to are demolished already. This is the safest way to bring down a stack uh, if you have the space. Anything vertical to the horizon, this stack is, wants to come down. It's just begging for you to release it. And there's always that moment after you push the button when the stack hangs there and you kind of gulp, get a knot in your stomach for a second, wondering if it's going to come down. And of course you know it is that moment of doubt. And I think that's part of the intrigue about this business. Traffic will be closed off at 12 o'clock. 12.15 we'll drop one at a time right behind each other. Get up, Doug. 
15 seconds and counting. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fire! The company has dropped stacks as close as five feet away from adjacent structures and utilities. We can uh, lay a stack right on a dime if it's reinforced concrete, or we can telescope a stack if it's brick or tile. And all debris falls within the work area. And most people with their, in the wrecking business who use a ball and a clam bucket and a loader have all kinds of accidents. Their accident rate is high. When we do our thing, our demolition, instant demolition, we like to call it. No one's near the building. They're a block or two away. Again, well-placed charges do the job. Steelworks is dismantled with explosives. A 10-story parking garage and an adjacent 300-foot chimney are taken down simultaneously. You know what we're selling? Number 50, folks, the marble table on the water fountain in the hallway. $20. Watch your pleasure on it. Work table and counter, folks. Have ten dollars in a telephone booth door. Pair of iron urns. You better get three hundred. Or you better get three. Two seventy-five in blue. Three hundred to get three twenty-five. Or you get the order twenty-five. You're going to have to bid on that twenty-five. Two hundred and fifty-three. Seven iron chairs on the board. What's your pleasure for all seven? Number fifty-six. Three flag poles. Three seventy-five. All the trees. Are you going to get three seventy-five? They're in blue. You're out. Because three seventy-five. All the exterior lights. Folks, please, please do us the courtesy of not trying to out-talk us. On the green carpet, folks, on the outside. Oh, you get four and a half. What did you get four fifty, sir? You're out at four twenty-five. Four and a half, what did you get four seventy-five? Are right, you gonna get four seventy-five? A hundred dollars. in the type of business where we've fallen into where it's all the songs. You know, it's a man's trade. likes to work with it. You know, he's a sugar salesman. We'll get a little uptight before the shot, and his somewhat different sense of humor really keeps us going. Right now, later, I want to go in here and excavate and punch these columns out, and that'll slide down here in front. <laughs> 
Right. Knock this some cover. For a got my cable in the column now. Cable in the, cable in the corner and this column here. Because that's either going to want to kick out here, don't you think, or come straight down. We're going to have to try to pull it in that way. You want to let the center come in first and pull it in towards Yeah, the... cut it in half and then chop it back and lay the walls in. Probably. Well, I think if the cable is calling here, this is going to pull in. Yeah. Well, we'll use double wrap. One here, one here. Okay, if the, if the marks go away, just keep them, keep them the same spacing as the ones over there. Okay? The Loazos are a tightly knit family, and the Kenilworth is an occasion for them. They're all going to fly in. Nana and Mother and Jack and uh, Mark, and Mark's wife and Mark's kid. And I know uh, Darby's daughter's coming down. Mary and the four kids and Bud from North Carolina. You want the cocktail? I don't know. Uh, we're done. Hey, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> Try it again. Get those wall. <laughs> it's going to be. One, two, three, four, five. Right, what's the layer of these two columns here? Three. Number Zero, three. one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three. Okay, oh, all right, there's the beach here. What the layer are you, are you walking back straight back here? Today? It'll end up on nine. to be sure that it really comes down and moves to free the two ends. Oh, it'll come down. What do you think about uh, maybe adding a couple of holes in these two columns? It'd be too hard to cover. Maybe these two. These four columns are the only question I have about your whole building. It's nice to take out more than the length of your, of your, uh, of your bay, the width of your bay. Isn't it nice to have brother here for consultation? How about a couple of nice braces, Doug, on that wall next to the Kenilworth house? Set in there. Except the, in uh, the big interior columns in the basement. But the, uh, remember when we first were down in the basement, we saw those big heavy columns back where the compressors yep. were? I we imagine were, spiral wrapping. We were bedding, wrapping three to trap. Drumming on 10 inch centers any. instead of two foot centers, right? Uh -huh. In another <coughs> 24 hours, it'll be done. Now hold this. Okay, buddy, pull on this. Hold it together. One more. How many is that? 16. That's not bad. The first one will take the longest. Next time, put the clamp going up and be easier to get through there. start burning simultaneously but if it's loose in the hole and you've got it wired up and a piece of debris hits the wire it'll pull it out and go off in the air if we 
we were trying to establish a ro loading ratio for cubic yards of concrete, we're putting about five times too much in it. But we've got a, it's the best insurance we can have in overloading this. The velocity of this is uh, 21,000 feet per second. That expands 7,000 times its volume at that rate. So it's pretty fast. I think the brake stealing needs something like 19,000 feet. So we'll just completely rip apart the reinforcing rod in the column. The higher the velocity, if we used a low velocity material on this job, one of the problems with it, it would tend to heave it. And we'd have chunks the size of, say, softballs flying. Where with a high velocity material such as this, you turn it into powder and pea gravel. Tucker, are you still, are you still uh, loading? Okay. It says uh, high degree of saturation in the nitric pop. When the nitric goes from dilates your arteries, you can get it through your skin. It gives you a splitting headache. All the blood rushes to your head. If we'd gotten the explosives here at 8.30, we would have been finished by 2, been basking in the sun. I'll be back in half an hour. last couple of minutes we like for the police to be free just to watch for strolling pedestrians or anything you know not to try and be worrying about traffic control yeah. and those things. but when we do finally stop the traffic we want to stop it now what about the streets back here and right, because we don't want any pedestrians on Collins we'll Avenue at all well these people will be able to get out here if they want to get out because you're stopping at a matter of 20 feet from there uh, all up until the last couple of minutes, right? Right. Oh, right. Okay. We'll be all ready um, tomorrow night and then just come in and do our final checking to make sure no debris has fallen and broken some wires. Beside the road of the rolling sea, moon over Miami, shine on as we begin a dream or two that may come true when the tide comes. Oh, 
down at the end of the parking lot. Preferably move it out. <clears throat> But it's not working, I don't think. Oh, they're going to be all right. Yeah, I'd prefer them down a little farther. We want to keep as many people out of I don't want one of your rescue squads. Yeah, I'll never video. Oh, you want us out of there? Yeah, I'd like you down with the other spectators. But it's not working, I don't think. Yeah, they're going to be all right. Yeah, I'd prefer them down a little farther. We want to keep as many people out of I don't want one of your rescue squads. Yeah, I'll never video. Oh, you want us out of there? Yeah, I'd like you down with the other spectators. But it's not working, I don't think. Wait a second, Doug. Now, let me read it back to you. Two sirens at two minutes. One siren at one minute. Three sirens at 15 seconds. Over. Right. Okay. okay, spread out. All right, let's, let's ask the good Lord for a good job. Father, we're grateful for your love and for the work you've given us. We pray that we may not have any, pro any bodily injury, and we pray that we might have a good job with no property damage. And we give you the credit in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's go. Thanks.